He says, God is not a man. God is not limited like man is. Man has man is finite. There are certain things we are incapable of doing. We can't do. It's impossible for us to do. We don't have all wisdom. We don't have all knowledge. We don't have all power. We're not, we're not omnipresent. We're not everywhere filling all space at all times. So he says, God is not a man that he should lie. He's establishing with us that God can never lie to you. Not only can not God never lie to you, it's impossible for God to lie. You see, even if I never told a lie, it's possible for me to tell a lie. Elder Gary. Amen. I like uh, what that's saying to us. It's saying God is not a man that he should lie. Mm -hmm. So that's telling me that man is, I can read that God is not a man because he cannot lie. Yeah. Because a man can lie. So that's why they're telling you God is not a man. Mm -hmm. Because a man can lie, but God can't. And it's making that explicitly clear because God is not a man. And we think of God sometimes as the man upstairs. How about that? And that's, that he's not a man. I like what that uh, next part says. It says, nor a son of man. Mm -hmm. And what that is stating is God is not a man, so we know that a man can lie. Then it says, nor a son of man. And we know that a son of man has to repent because he's been wrong. Mm -hmm. And this is showing an illustration of a man and his son. Both of them are fallible. Mm -hmm. But God is infallible. 